What's up everybody, it's your boy Chrome, just going to show you quickly uh, how to make custom uh, MFC and GIFs that are, um, they're small in size so you're able to upload them to the internet pretty easily and in terms of uh, MFC, obviously um, there's a size requirement, can't be too large to uh, upload it to their library, so I'm going to show you an easy way to do this. Uh, check the description and uh, if you need help, read those instructions. They're pretty detailed. So let's get going here first. Open up your browser. Uh, you're gonna go to the first link that I posted here, and it's for GIFCam, which uh, there's versions for both Mac and Windows. Uh, so go scroll all the way down to get to this point. This link um, will get you GIFCam. So download that, get that all, that all squared away, and ready to go. And then, uh, so we'll head right to the point of starting to make the GIF image itself. GIF cam is pretty cool because um, basically what it is is it gives you this little cam window here. And uh, what that does is basically you're just going to record the images that you want to make into a GIF on this little screen or, uh, that's, that's within the space here. So, uh, say that I wanted to add this image. I'm gonna go ahead and open that, and you can really you can uh, open these images whatever with whatever program you want, and uh, size them however you want. Obviously, um, I often use either uh, Windows Media Player since I'm on Windows 8 now. Unfortunately, I hate Windows. Lost my Mac, but whatever. All right, so yeah, so you can open with whatever you want. As long as GIF Cam is able to capture the image in this little box here, you'll be good. So, um, so yeah, for example, here we go. We'll start with this one. And then you'll see up here in the corner, uh, it says record. So you can actually control the timing of how long each part of your GIF is on the screen via this. So I'll click this. All right, so that's 1.5 seconds. That will be on the screen. Usually with GIF images, they move uh, quicker than that. Um, you know, they'll be quick to switch images if they are switching. So um, I would recommend that you do shorter bursts of uh, the recording with GIF Cam if you can. It'll work out better for you. So I'll go ahead and uh, close this if I'm done with that part. Then I'll uh, let's see what I open this one. Uh, so then here we go again. I've got the GIF Cam right here up top got the size of screen that I want you can crop it in if you like to like I said because of the size requirements you really don't want huge images or uh, movies for that matter we go back up to record record this for a little while and we'll do a final third piece record all right so I've made a GIF at this point, and it's important that you can you can check right here. Go to the bottom, see this little scroll down menu, and you can preview it before you go ahead and save it. So let's look at the preview. There's my preview right here. As you can see with this one, um, you're able to see the first image I posted because of its size. Uh, I haven't quite figured out how to um, fix that other than making sure that every image that you're recording is the same exact size um, which actually I guess isn't too hard because you have this to be measuring your images with um, or you can just you know, do them manually with a program whatever photo editing you're using you can do that use that to size your photos whatever works best for you alright so say this is my thing here this is my gif I like what I see close the preview and I can save it I usually save it to my desktop because it's easier we'll go Example, save to the desktop, then saved up, there we go. Next you're going to go to the second link that I posted, which is for a website called TinyPic. TinyPic allows you to upload images and things to the web, gives you direct links to them. So go ahead and register an account for yourself, it's free. Um, and at that point you'll be able to uh, you upload your own stuff, so as you can see here, some of the stuff that I've uploaded. Um, so it's as easy as going here. You want to choose, press choose file. There's my example GIF. Click that. And uh, actually, here's important here. If you find that your image is too large, 
Tiny Pick allows you to edit the size of it right here before you even upload it. So say that you know, I took a kind of a large movie and I wasn't well, it wasn't positive. You know, say that I tried it and it was too big. You can go right here and press resize. Now for MFC, the um, the measurement that usually works is right here, 160 times 120, which is thumbnail. So uh, I'll go ahead and uh, click that. We're gonna hit upload. Here we go. And um, so what you want to use when you go back to MFC is this Im this uh, link here. It says direct link for layouts. Copy that. You're going to go back to your MFC. And then um, you're going to go to this images uh, portion, which you can get to by clicking the little uh, picture icon. Most of you probably know how to do that by now. Down here, um, you can submit the image for the MFC library. Usually it takes a little while because they check them to make sure they're uh, not anything vile. So you can go ahead and uh, enter image there, whatever category you want it to be in, and then whatever. Um, you want the nick the nickname to be and that that's the code that you usually enter when you have the semicolon that's not letting me because uh those aren't allowed but you know when you have your image library you can uh use the shortcuts instead of having to scroll through them by using the semicolon and then the nickname so enter your whatever nickname you'll remember here click submit image now there's no way to um check that the image has posted uh, you just kind of have to give it time and then check at a later date um, but there is a way to use them in chat before they're uploaded and all you're doing is uh, taking this exact link that you got via tiny pick or your gif copying it actually let's use the one with my example I'm gonna go back to your use this copy go to your um, Wherever you're going, to, wherever you want to use your GIF, I test them usually with a message with myself just to make sure. Just enter the same link right there. And click send, and uh, so there you go. You have it. There's your custom GIF right there. Double click it. See that it's all all set. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I uh, hope it uh, hope it teached <laughs> teach you. Hope it teached you. No. Hope I was able to uh, teach you how to do this, and uh, best of luck to everyone. Feel free to message me if you have any questions. Alright, be well, and I'm out.